Buprenorphine is a powerful painkiller used to treat chronic pain and opioid addiction. Today, I'll answer some common questions that people ask me about buprenorphine. What is buprenorphine? Is it an opioid? Why is buprenorphine combined with naloxone? Why is it used for opioid addiction? What is the dose of buprenorphine for pain? Can I swallow the tablet instead of dissolving under the tongue? Can I take it with other opioids? Why do I need to stop the other opioid before starting buprenorphine? So let's talk about buprenorphine today. Buprenorphine is a long-acting, strong opioid. The effects last about 24 to 36 hours. It's used as an opioid painkiller and also to replace all the opioids that people may get addicted to, like heroin, oxycodone, fentanyl, or morphine. For pain, it's used as a transdermal patch. There are patches containing 5, 10, and 20 micrograms per hour. The maximum dose is 20 micrograms per hour for pain. For addiction, there is the sublingual tablets that combine buprenorphine with naloxone. And there are also injectable buprenorphine that are used once a month. The sublingual tablet has to be dissolved under the tongue. If the person swallows the tablet, the drug will not be absorbed and therefore cannot have an effect. Naloxone is added to the tablet to avoid that the person will dissolve the tablet and inject the drug to get high. Buprenorphine is used to treat opioid addiction because it prevents withdrawal symptoms and reduces cravings. So the person does not need to obtain illegal opioids to feel normal and they have an opportunity to rebuild their lives. Buprenorphine can be abused and it can cause overdose, but these are rare and much less than using methadone. When we want to rotate from another opioid to buprenorphine, we use a method called induction. Because buprenorphine has a high affinity to the opioid receptor, this means that when it links to the receptor in the body, it does not let another opioid to connect to that receptor. It stays there for 24 or 36 hours. If you take another opioid with buprenorphine, the opioid will not find an empty receptor and will not be able to have the analgesic effect. So, if the person is taking another opioid, let's say morphine or oxycodone, we first need to empty those receptors and that's why we need to ask the person to stop taking all of their opioids before we give them the first dose of buprenorphine. When they come to our office, the person will have some withdrawal symptoms. Then we give them the first sublingual tablet of buprenorphine and they feel better in a few minutes or an hour. Then, we adjust the dose of buprenorphine and within a few days, they are taking the buprenorphine only. Why do we want to do this? Buprenorphine is safer than other opioids. It's a partial agonist to the receptor, which means that there is a lower chance of overdose by respiratory depression. It is safer in older adults. If a person is using buprenorphine, they still can take the other opioids if there is an emergency and they have acute pain, but they should not use the other opioid for a prolonged time, just for a few days in case of emergencies. Well, let me remind you that this video is not intended to replace medical advice. If you have a condition that needs medical advice, please talk to your doctor. This video is for educational purposes only. If there is an emergency, please go to the nearest emergency department or call an ambulance. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.